guys, Paul Murray. Hey guys, Palmerator here, and I am excited to be launching my new server. It's been in the works for a long time now, at least since school has gotten out, and we've been going on the grind for this thing. Um, I'll, I'm going to give you all the information you need to know about this server throughout this video. Uh, I just wish I gave it the... Uh, attention it deserves uh, but the problem is I'm on vacation right now so I'm making this before the even before even the launch um, but I'm scheduling uploading this and uh, so you guys can get in on this action um, it's a pretty awesome server like I said I'm really excited to be sharing this with you um, and what it is called is MC Warside um, it's mcwarside.com that's the IP and uh, that'll be in the description as well um, but it's a, essentially a giant battle dome uh, mixed with like factions is the best way to put it. So you're basically in this big giant uh, dome. Well, I don't think technically it's a cylinder, uh, but you can't get over the top of it. Um, and you can't get out. You know, you dig down, dig up, you can't get out. Um, and so basically, you are forced to fight the enemy team. You're randomly selected a team, and uh, you gather weapons, you gather resources, and you go for the kill. Um, and y y your actions ben over time benefit you. Um, so every kill that you get uh, rewards you with an emerald. And in the store for each team, so there's a general town, you get there and you start uh, destroying each other and, and uh, basically building up your army versus the enemies. And meanwhile, during this whole time, you're you're ranking up. You're getting uh, you're getting different. So you start off as default. You go to corporal, private, uh, sergeant, whatever, and you work your way up to general. And every kill is a one step closer to the next rank. And then with the ranks uh, come basic uh, advantages. So you might get speed or night vision or uh, increased digging speeds or uh, other types of things that help you in PvP or just general Minecraft things. And the world's pretty massive. Regular Battle Dome that you see plays like uh, 200. I think this is like a thousand blocks or something like that. So it's a massive world. Plenty of room for plenty of people. Uh, that's not only five times bigger. That's way more than five times bigger. You can see how big this world is with me flying around here. Uh, and each team has their own castle, which the enemy can't get into. Sorry, boo to that. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's amazing. You guys really have to check it out. It's really unique. We had this all custom made, all off our ideas. We had a uh, developer make this all. So it would be awesome if you guys give this a chance. Uh, so here's me another giving a little another cinematic of the whole world. Um, and it's just really fun to come just PvP each other. We had some beta testers in here earlier today, and that's all the people that you see in this video. So shout out to all of them for helping me out. That's not, I should say. I don't think I even mentioned, but I'm co owning this with Dr. PlayStation Nation and uh, the head uh, admin, uh, you know, developer guy is, uh, who's doing all the fancy stuff behind the work world uh, is Shadow Wolf. You guys might know him. He used to do Dr. PlayStation server and uh, he worked on Noah server or something. And so, um, yeah, awesome, awesome people when we're getting staff. And so we'll have people applying to get more staff later. Um, but it is such a cool thing in my opinion. Uh, you see, yeah, like I said, there's no man's land and there's each side's team, which is signified by the wolves. The right side is red and the blue side, the blue side uh, is on the left. And so when you're in the end, so you pick your team, it's random off the start. You'll be able to see what team you are by what castle you spawn in. If you type, your name is prefixed with a red or blue. Um, and so on the left side, you see here, uh, if you are a red member and you go onto the enemy team or either vice versa, you are going to have disadvantages, so you're going to have uh, mining fatigue, which is going to make you're not going to number one. You're not allowed to break blocks on the enemy side, but also uh, it's going to make you swing your sword slower, so it's hard to PvP. You're going to get slowness, and uh, that's going to make it also harder to get away in a PvP situation. And uh, there's one other effect I can't quite remember what it is, um, but uh, so you have different effects on the enemy side, which are going to hurt you and make you less less uh, powerful and what to not um, and uh, but yeah that, that, that's like the basic idea so like I said you get an emerald the emeralds like the currency system you can go and trade that in for better weapons um, ores um, brewing there's no enchantments except for the enchantments that you uh, buy so like there's a I mean, very limited it's like flame one uh, I think there's an infinity bow 
and there's like a uh, knockback sword and those are all very expensive to buy so it's not an op server you're not gonna i know a lot of times you know you need to buy the golden apples to play a pvp server on like a factions or whatever it's nothing like that um it's gonna be easy for anyone to be able to join in and play i know that it's really obnoxious when you know you have to pay for golden apples or not, not even golden apples we have golden apples god apples and then, so if you eat a gold apple, you're invincible for like 60 seconds. And that's kind of, that's not the fun of PvP Minecraft, in my opinion. Um, but I guess to each their own. It's popular for a reason. Um, but, yeah, so, uh, just come here and play with us. We're, we're, we're going to have an awesome time. I'm, gonna, I'm not getting back to the 15th like a lot of you guys probably know. I made a video about that. Um, but it is going to be a good time. Nick should be, Dr. PlayStation Nation, should be live streaming the, uh, the launch i wish i was here for that but i just couldn't get the ends to meet and uh yeah this is, I, I can only talk so much about it in a, in a five minute video or whatever this ends up being um but you really have to just experience for ourselves for yourselves i mean it's gonna be kind of almost in beta for the first part uh, we had a little beta like i said we had a, we had a few tests going on so there's nothing major gonna be wrong um, but just, we're gonna make a few fixes, take some, uh, advice, and I'd really love to see you, all your faces here. Um, a new server, a new idea, it's not just, you know, a Hunger Games server or something like that, which we could have done and just, you know, gone, gone with the norm, but instead, we, uh, went for it all, and we decided to make it completely new, something you guys have never seen before, and I really hope you enjoy it. We put a lot of time and effort into this, and it'd be amazing if you check it out. Um... So, beyond that, I think I hit on everything that is super important about this. It wasn't supposed to be a super long video, um, but I hope you uh, hope to see you guys there, especially when I get back, but even before. So, yeah, guys, once again, thank you to everyone who helped out with this, and uh, you guys are awesome.